guys so we're here at the beautiful Sacramento Historic Cemetery and we're gonna be looking for young May's headstone now the reports say that if you put your hand on it you can feel her nearby and tonight they're hosting a special ghost adventure here where they tell tall tales about Sacramento's haunted history. But we're here for May, and I might come here tonight. We'll see how it goes. Now let's go see if we can find her. Now people have left toys out for her and all kinds of things. Um, and it's a very, very tragic story. see how it goes. The Woolsey Family. May was born on November 12th, 1866 in Sacramento, California to Luther S. Woolsey and Mary Esther Cogswell Woolsey. Luther, born in Onondaga County, New York, was a pattern maker for much of his professional life. He married Mary Esther Cogswell on September 8th, 1852, and they had their first child, William Jerome, on November 11th, 1853. The journey of Luther and his family before the birth of May is a slightly confusing one. It appears that they were in four different states throughout the 1850s and 1860s. The family business. In 1855, the Pierce, Woolsey & Co. opened in Sandusky, Ohio, specializing in carriage and wagon wheels. Luther decided to leave New York and joined two of his brothers in Sandusky to help make the Woolsey name a prominent one. However, Luther's time in Sandusky only lasted a few years as he decided to head west. The first record of Luther in California was in 1859 as an employee for the Pacific Boundary in San Francisco. From 1860 to 1863, Luther would go on to work for the Miners Foundry as a pattern maker. Luther made at least one trip back east between 1863 and 1866 most likely to Fort Wayne, Indiana, where his mother apparently lived with one of Luther's siblings. In total, Luther was one of 14 kids. When May was just a few years old, Luther and her brother William were back in Sandusky working at the family business in the early 1870s. By this time, the name had changed to Hubbards and Woolsey. It's unclear if May and Mother Mary were with Luther or if they remained at the family home in Sacramento. It's also possible that Mary took May back with her to her hometown in New York. Through the hard work of Luther and his brothers, the Woolsey Wheel Company would go on to become a prominent symbol of the Sandusky working class until it burned down in 1905. By the mid-1870s, Luther and family were back in Sacramento. The patron of the family would finally settle into a career as a machinist with Sacramento Ironworks before finishing up his career with the railroad shops in Sacramento. Also around this time, May's brother William, who was married, brought his wife and daughter to Sacramento for the remainder of the decade. The Woolseys became well known within Sacramento and even were acquaintances with elite families like the Crockers. By all accounts, May was a bright girl with a very promising future ahead of her. The Death of May In September of 1879, May became very ill and spent many days in bed. Some sources believe she became sick from a mosquito bite, while others claim it was the measles. Eventually, her illness led to encephalitis, and she died on September 21st, 1879, just a few months shy of her 13th birthday. According to an announcement in the Sacramento Daily Union, Volume 8, Number 167, September 22nd, 1879, Luther and Mary invited friends and family over to their home at 916 E Street for the funeral. May was then buried at the historic Sacramento City Cemetery, located at the corner of Broadway and Riverside. Over the last century, visitors to May's grave have reported peaceful and friendly encounters with May's spirit. They say that if you place one hand on May's grave, you will feel her presence. May's grave has also become one of the most popular burials in the historic cemetery as hundreds of visitors stop by each year. In fact, over the years, Sac City Cemetery made a little brochure of popular burials, and they included May's grave, right along with major historical figures of California's past like John Sutter Jr., Newton Booth, the Crocker family, and numerous military heroes. Hello, May. We're 
can't tell your story. Your sad story. In 1866, Luther bought the family home at 916 E Street, located in the historic Alkali Flat neighborhood. The house was actually built by one of Luther's acquaintances, Gordon Bacchus, who apparently constructed it and sold it to another individual. Luther would end up buying the home from this unidentified owner. The Woolsey family home still stands in the same location of its original construction. However, it has undergone some renovations and modifications since then. In 1979, Ed Duffy bought the home and began renovating the place. During one project, he discovered an old trunk and a false wall near the staircase. This trunk belonged to the Woolsey family and it included numerous items of maize. An article published October 20th, 1994 in the Sacramento Bee, the finding of the trunk apparently woke May's restless spirit and she started haunting the home. Household items began to disappear or fly across the room. Noises could be heard throughout the home and her ghost could be felt when she was around. There are no other credible sources reporting that the house is haunted. In fact, most sites still claim that her spirit is at the cemetery and never mention her spirit being at home. If we were to guess at who is haunting this house, it may be May's mother who was grief-stricken after the death of May. Mary even contacted mediums to communicate with May from the other side. Mary reportedly died in the family home on February 19, 1895, and is buried right next to May in the Sac City Cemetery. In what many believe to be an act of grief, Mary Woolsey gathered up all of May's belongings and some family items and put them in a trunk. She then hid the trunk out of sight. It's unknown as to whether Luther knew about the trunk or not. Some believe that Mary kept this from Luther, while others believe that Luther helped fill the trunk with items. There are conflicting reports in regards to all of the items found in the trunk. For curious individuals, you can go to the Sacramento History Museum down on Front Street and look at the trunk and many of the items on display. However, the display has only a fraction of the items discovered. According to the museum, there were nearly 600 items found in the trunk, including May's diary. Another item of contention is an alleged letter that was supposedly written by May and found in the trunk. According to OldCityCemetery.com, the letter said the following. Dear Mama, I am so happy as I did write to you and say I was happy. Now Mama dear, do not weep for me. I am not dead. No, only gone before to wait your coming, when you will be out of all sorrow and care and will be happy with me. Oh, what pleasure there is in the spirit life, no one can tell. Only think of everlasting life and pleasure where we know no sorrow. All is sunshine. There is no cloud to darken our path as on earth. We have our choice of mission.